This is Twit. Well, Don, you know, the last couple of weeks we talked about uh, audio and connecting external gear to your ham radio equipment. And, uh, well, we did two weeks on it. The first week we we actually played a segment I had previously recorded. Second week we went in and did a little explaining on a couple of different possibilities that you might run into on balanced audio gear. And I got an email from one of our viewers this past week. Uh, someone had given him a nice um, home stereo equalizer that he wanted to hook to his ham gear. And, uh, you know, he had followed my examples. He had added a transformer to it, and he had added a pot on there to use for a pad to get the level down uh, before he drove the ham rig with it. But he just had hum and a lot of noise. And I was corresponding back and forth with him and, you know, trying to give him some troubleshooting points there so we could uh, zero in and see exactly where the problem was coming in. While we were talking about it, I had just assumed that maybe he had something like, uh, well, uh, like, uh, as well, similar to a lot of folks do here. Uh, of course, equalizer is kind of... Um, well, some people use them, some don't. Most of your mixtures will have some equalization in it. I thought maybe he had something like this, had a microphone, and uh, he was going to feed that to a mixer or a mic preamp and then go on to his equalizer there, which incidentally had RCA inputs and outputs. And then uh, he had a pad here, and it went on out to his rig, of course, a transformer there too. So, uh, you know, I was having a little trouble understanding exactly what might be going on. So I asked him to, to test a few things there and, uh, you know, try to zero in on the issue. I just assumed that he had a mixer here uh, or some kind of mic preamp, but he didn't. He had the microphone feeding straight into the equalizer and then out of the equalizer through a transformer and a pad on into the rig. Well, that's the issue right there, and uh, I don't think I probably didn't describe it in the uh, the particular segment that we did recently, um, although it has been described before. Game staging, you know, that's um, that's kind of important when you're connecting different pieces of gear together in a chain, uh, particularly audio, but also, you know, uh, RF signals. Uh, almost any type of electrical signal. So I thought we might take a moment here and uh, look at the gain stage on various audio uh, implements of destruction that you might have laying around the shack or in the house. And let's just look at this. We've got uh, uh, arrows going up and down here that are going to represent at the bottom a very low-level signal at the top a high-level signal. If we uh, look right here in the middle, 0 dB, that's a reference level right there. Uh, it's 0.775 volts in our particular application right here. My, it's going to vary depending on the uh, load resistance that you're looking into or the you know, load impedance, but uh, typically is seven or 0.775 volts uh, at 600 ohms. If we look down here, really low-level signals, a minus 80 dB signal is what you would expect from a magnetic phono cartridge, the type that, uh, you know, you'd, you'd have on a nice stereo system. Now, you know, uh, a cheap record player or something like that would have a ceramic cartridge in it, so uh, it'd be, you know, a little different signal level. But a good quality magnetic phono cartridge is down around 80 dB there. It's quite low. Now, if we move on up a little bit, uh, from, say, minus 20 to minus 60 dB is where microphone levels will typically run. That's still a pretty low-level signal. Anywhere between minus 20 and minus 60 dB below our reference level. Uh, you'll find microphones in there. You'll also find musical instrument pickups, um, you know, mostly um, uh, non-active pickups like, uh, uh, 
guitar pickup or something like that, you know, they're going to be putting out a signal down in this range down in here, way below our, um, our zero dB reference. If we move on up a little bit, uh, around minus 10, between zero dB and minus 10 dB is where you're going to find consumer unbalanced line level. Uh, that's typically your, your home stereo gear. Um, this particular equalizer we were talking about with the RCA connectors on it, that's going to be, uh, well, referenced against uh, minus 10 uh, dB consumer audio level. And that's, that's real typical for anything that you might find around the home. Now, if you move on up a little bit, oh, also 0 dB here. Let me just mention that. That, I'm not sure if it's still common, but I know it was just a few years ago. That is the um, European Pro Audio level. Everything's referenced against 0 dB in, in European gear. Now, Pro Audio, the balance line level, is anywhere between 0 dB and plus 8 dB. It can range in here, so that's a much higher level than a, a microphone uh, would be, as well as, uh, you know, the unbalanced line levels are higher than a microphone would be. Now, pro audio gear in the U.S. is going to be um, typically plus 4 dB. That's gear that's got uh, uh, Canon connectors on it, XLR connectors, or... Uh, tippering sleeve connectors like, um, you know, quarter-inch stereo jacks that uh, are phone plugs, you know, that type of gear. Balanced audio, plus four. Now, some broadcast gear, uh, mostly older gear, would be referenced to plus eight, you know, even higher than that to help overcome some of the RF that might be present in that environment. And then you get on up above there, uh, speaker level. Your headphones first. Continue on up, and I don't even have it referenced here with uh, numbers on the scale, but on up from there is you get into power amplifiers like your stereo amplifiers, public address systems, and all such as that. So you can see we've got a wide range of signals that we deal with here when we're looking at audio gear. So if we're looking down here at a microphone, it's going to be anywhere between minus 20 and minus 60. I'm going to say... Most of them are leaning, you know, on down here, you know, a good bit below minus 20. So we can't really take that and feed that straight into an equalizer because, uh, you know, it's expecting something in the minus 10 level. So we're not really sending enough, enough signal into it. So that's why we got the hum and the noise on there is uh, we just weren't feeding it with enough signal. So what we need to do is, uh, after our microphone, the first thing we're going to need is, um, uh, well, uh, if we're going to ex hook in external audio gear, we're going to need some type of preamp. And if you've got a mixer, well, there's going to be a microphone preamp built into it. You'll be okay there. Or you could use just a, a mic preamp by itself. Then you feed the output of that into your equalizer or, or whatever gear you got there that um, the signal conditioning that you want to use. So what we've done is we've gone from, you know, that low level signal here, say, well, let's just say uh, minus 50. We've stepped it up here to where we can get out, uh, you know, from zero dB to minus 10 to run into our equalizer. But then we've got to step it back down to, you know, minus 40 or, or minus 50 or, or whatever we need to feed into our rig. So here we're going to have to put a pad in there to drop the signal down. So essentially, to add this other gear in here, we've got to boost our microphone level up to operate in the sweet spot of this gear. Then we've got to pad it back down to operate in the sweet spot of our transceiver. So that's uh, basically gain staging there. Uh, just something to keep in mind when you're hooking different pieces of audio gear together. You can't just plug connectors in and expect they'll work. You need to pay a little attention to this. You might get a signal through with a level mismatch uh, by turning the gain way up on, on your mixer or 
radio or whatever or turning it way down. You might can make it work, but you're not doing yourself any favors because if you're not operating in the sweet spot of that audio gear, then you're going to have uh, extra noise, hum, or distortion, depending on what the case is. You get your level staged right to where you're going into right level, that gear is going to give you the best performance. So that's my tip there on audio gain staging, uh, something to keep in mind when you're connecting stuff together.